It's just about seven o'clock, uh, probably a little after, and I'm out going to do food shopping. And this is the first segment of the BTS vlog for the period of uh, November 20th to the 21st. And uh, let's see how this works because I don't know how this is actually going to record at night. It is dark out right now. And the light source is primarily street lights. So we'll kind of have to see how this goes. Uh, it should be okay. Uh, I spent most of uh, uh, Tuesday sleeping. Well, I didn't, well, that's not necessarily true. I spent a lot of time sleeping. And uh, what's happening is my day is starting later and later now. It's starting to rotate, which isn't too bad. Because uh, basically, uh, Thursday night I'm going to be pulling an all-nighter. Uh, I'll be uh, at uh, church, and uh, the weekend vlog is going to be extended possibly from Thursday <coughs> to Monday. Monday. Ugh. Talking is difficult when you're walking like this, and when it's cold out. Anyways. I'll vlog a little bit later on. It's starting to get darker here. Alrighty, so I've done my shopping. I was just at TNT. Uh, I also got some extra stuff from uh, Home Basics here. Uh, they always have stuff on that's uh, sort of not advertised on sale. Different deals, and you can pick up some good stuff uh, for rather cheap. That's why I have the big bag. But there's also the consideration that you have to uh, then carry everything, every, carry everything home on your back. So uh, that's the situation we're in right now. But this has to happen you know, at least once a week. Uh, to do your food shopping and everything else. So, anyways, uh, oh, that's what I forgot. I keep forgetting to say things when I turn the camera on, and. That's part of the problem is that when you're vlogging, you have to remember the stuff, particularly if you're vlogging on the fly or on the walk. Like this, you have to sort of think of what to say as you're uh, filming it. So, anyways, I think that's about it for now. Oh, my armor is getting sore. Yeah, I forget the vlogs, some of the stuff I get to see. So I didn't get up get up as we were going out the door. It was actually earlier than that. I got up around 2.30, 2, 2.30, did some work, some cleaning, and then uh, sort of proceeded out the door around 7 o'clock after the traffic subsided. Anyways, that's about it. I'll see you at home. Uh, talk some more. With sleep deprivation it's often difficult to determine whether or not you're going to be awake or asleep. There are some points of time as you've been seeing that <laughs> I have a good straight stretch of being awake. Well other days there are days where I'm just completely knocked out and that was Thursday. Thursday I spent uh, most of the day in bed <coughs> and so I've extended the vlog from I've extended the vlog from <coughs> November 20th to the 
Uh, it was supposed to be November 20th to the 21st, but the 21st was kind of a wash up because uh, I didn't do anything. I basically slept all day. And now, uh, we're over here. And we're the 22nd. <coughs> so, now, <coughs> it's 145. <coughs> 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 it's 145 on November 22nd. Uh, and, uh, <coughs> I just finished having something to eat, some uh, hydration, and I'm actually ready to go back to bed right now. That's that's basically what's gonna happen. I'm going back to the bed, so I <coughs> haven't had too much of a wakeful period over the last day or so. <coughs> well, we'll see what happens tomorrow. <coughs> Alrighty, that's it for now. Dog is just gonna stretch and stretch and stretch <coughs> and stretch out. Uh, what's been happening is uh, I haven't been able to wake up. I've basically been sleeping since Wednesday night. I've been sleeping all the way through uh, the day. Basically, I get up for about two to three hours to have something to drink, to hydrate, and to have some something to eat. That's the fuel you need for your body to regrow again. And then you go back to bed again. Now, <coughs> <coughs> people have heard my cough from my parents and said, Oh, you must be, you must have some type of infection in terms of uh, a cold because there's a cold going around. Problem is, I don't have a fever, I don't have the stuffy nose, I don't have any of the sinus conditions that goes along with. Uh, with that type of uh, infection. So, uh, if there's no fever, there's no congestion in terms of the head, <coughs> and the nasal passages, and there's only the cough, and the cough <coughs> occurs around the bronchial tubes when the bronchial tubes are dry. As long as I hydrate properly <coughs> and keep enough fluids, then there is no particular issue. Uh, so that tells me that this has something to do with uh, something I've had for a long time. Uh, even since I was a kid, way back when, we used to go to the beach at Nantasket. That's uh, Boston, I think it's North Shore. It's uh, different than Cape Cod. Cape Cod <coughs> is a... Uh, Along the warm stream, the the warm stream of water, and it's significantly warmer. The water is significantly warmer than it is at Nantasket. Nantasket is cold water, even during the summer. And when I <coughs> I went into the water, the cold water, uh, when I came out of the cold water, <coughs> uh, shortly. Uh, after le leaving the sand, uh, I began to have the same type of cough that I have now. <coughs> Existing primarily in the bronchial tubes, there'd be no fever, no congestion, uh, in either in the head or in the uh, nasal passages. And basically a few hours after getting home, it would on its own subside. And this happens again. Uh, happened again when I was older. Uh, in, ter in terms of not being at that task, uh, when I was out, I went out with a group of friends. It was a little chilly out. It was a summer. As the temperature dropped, <coughs> my chest got a little cold. And in terms of the temperature, and I began coughing again. After I warmed up for a bit, it went away. And this is what of happening. Uh, when I began walking a couple weeks ago, it was cold outside, and I was bringing very cold air into my lungs. <sighs> and this 
is when it started, I started coughing again when I did some fairly heavy walking. And the knock, the time when I'm knocked out, the periods when I'm knocked out, uh, actually occur shortly after uh, I've done a lot of walking. Now, the stuff I do carry on my back is heavy. And a lot of times when I do leave the house, I am very tired, uh, my office, I am very tired. I really don't want to walk. But you have to go food shopping, you have to get these things done, so I go and I, and I get it done. <coughs> I started off cold. Uh, <coughs> Basically, so I get to the end of my street, I'm cold. After I get to the end of my street, uh, I start walking in uh, at the uh, IBM's driveway, that's sort of the, the back road that I take. That's when I start to warm up. But all the way down there, it is. My body is feeling very rough. It's, it, it, it's like a rough starting. It is not until I get uh, a, a, a significant ways into the walk that things pick up and I start feeling uh, all right again. And I'm able to sort of continue on as if everything is normal. But it does. After, after after I get back, my muscles start to get sore. I start to get the cramps in terms of the the, the muscle soreness in, in, in the uh, in in the arms and in the legs. And it takes me about forty eight hours to recover from it. So the suspicion is that these last few times that I went walking, is I overloaded myself, and because my body was already in a state of sleep deprivation. Uh, from a couple months before, but actually I've been in a state of sleep deprivation where I haven't been getting proper sleep uh, since uh, basically mid 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 August. That's when it began. I wasn't really able to catch up on my sleep because <coughs> there was so much work to get done, so much studying to do. <coughs> that <coughs> on a weekly basis, I'd cut out part of my sleep for the week. And so this is this is what's led me to believe that a lot of what's going on now is that fundamental catch up, that sort of fundamental uh, requirement that the body has to shut down, repair itself, and before I can move back into a situation again where uh, I can sort of push my limits, and that's what's going on here. I'm always trying to push my limits, always trying to do more than I did the day before. Even when I'm sort of sitting here like this, rather than sort of just sitting here and, do, and doing nothing, I have things on the desktop, like the vlogging. I have the YouTube stroll. And now i sort of figured out how to work the uh, Beauty and the Geek uh, production schedule into my downtime when I have some extra time. I'm working on some of the graphic overlays uh, for the show. As I'm sitting here... <coughs> As I'm eating, uh, watching uh, my IPTV, I'm getting all that work done. But so I said, it's going to take me another a day or so to get uh, things back to normal, and I will vlog as much as I can. But basically, right now, uh, I got up around four, four thirty. It's now seven o'clock in the evening, and I'm going to go back to bed now. So I'll see you when I get up again. All right. It's been a while. Well, not really a while, but uh, it's been a long weekend. And I keep adding days to uh, uh, the vlog, this vlog here anyways, uh, because uh, this vlog was supposed to end on, on, Wednesday, on Thursday, but it didn't because basically since Wednesday night, since I began this vlog, I've been primarily sleeping. Uh, I hit that wall that, that, that <coughs> sleep deprivation wall rather hard. Uh, it wasn't, didn't really sort of expect to hit, to hit it like this, but it did happen nonetheless. And I was sort of vlogging the recovery. It ended up that uh, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I spent the entire uh, <laughs> time sleeping. It was, it was a, it was a, I was planning to go to church, I was planning to go to uh, the feast for St. Nectarius um, um, on Thursday, Friday, I was planning to do that, and just, just I just got too tired, and it wasn't, and sort of canceled everything, and I didn't, 
Didn't go to church on, on Sunday either. Ended up going to my parents' house for lunch on Sunday. And then from there, uh, the church had a banquet and went there. So it was a pretty good banquet. I really I, I enjoyed myself. I still was really tired. Uh, got home around, <coughs> I think it was around 9 o'clock. Went back to bed and stayed sleeping until uh, just about... Uh, Five o'clock in the evening tonight, uh, the, on Monday. That was just a few hours ago. Because right now it's about <coughs> one a.m. on uh, Monday, November twenty-fifth. So yeah, no, I'm not It's uh, uh, yeah, it was Tuesday, the no Tuesday, November twenty-sixth at one o'clock. So yesterday at uh, Monday, November twenty-fifth. At 5 o'clock, that's when I woke up. It's been just about, I'm going to say 5 to 12. It's 7 hours. It's 8 hours. It's been about an 8-hour day. We'll see what happens tomorrow, whether I got another 8-hour day in or not. Uh, and in other words, we're trying to try to slowly work the way back up to uh, a normal work day. Beauty and the Geek is uh, in the editing bay. It's being worked on. I should have it up sometime tomorrow, and we should, starting on Tuesday, get back to normal with our BTS vlogs as well. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see what's going to happen, because it, de it really depends on uh, whether or not my wakeful period continues, or I'm forced back to bed again uh, with the massive amounts of fatigue uh, to the point where I can't do anything but sleep. So, we'll kind of see how it goes. It's going to sort of, have to sort of figure that out. Anyways, this is the last segment. I will uh, start the next segment tomorrow whenever I get up. That will be sort of the next segment. And we'll go from there. All right. Take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.